Rocket Jinx Multiverse. After all the rumours, hints and excitement, Rocksteady Studios has revealed that they are not working on a Superman game to follow their Batman Arkham series. They also totally failed to reveal the game in 2018, which probably means we'll be seeing it at the Xbox conference at E3 in June, given that Sony have now bowed out of the show. Now Superman is ruled out, what game could Rocksteady be working on? We honestly expect it to be a DC Comics game still, possibly still based on the Arkhamverse, as Warner Brothers own the studio and know how well they've done with it already. So based on evidence, rumours and our own guesswork, we put together a list of the top 5 DC games Rocksteady Studios could be working on. Number 5, Green Arrow. Starting with possibly the least likely but still possible and exciting, it would certainly be cool to think that the makers of the Batman Arkham games were turning their attention to Green Arrow and Star City. Oliver Queen is probably the DC hero who's closest to Batman in that he has no powers and relies on skill and gadgets and is obviously a billionaire too. That's the reason why the Arrow CW show often feels like a Batman show, even bringing in the likes of Rachel Ghoul, Talia, Farfly and Not Scarecrow. The Arrow series was usually popular and work on Batman Arkham Knight wrapped so we could certainly see Rocksteady going straight into it. Furthermore, Oliver Queen holds the honour of being the non-Batman DC hero who's referenced the most in the Arkham series, even over Superman. References to Queen Consolidated go all the way back to the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC expansion to Arkham City. We feel Green Arrow would be an awesome choice for the next Rocksteady game, but after Batman, we feel it's unlikely. Oliver Queen is just too similar and would be a bit of a step down from Batman, and Rocksteady need to step up. Number 4, Batman Arkham World. We cannot deny the simple possibility that Rocksteady are working on another Batman game, larger in scope than even Arkham Knight. It's possible that they were going to leave the Batman Arkham series to Arkham Origins developer WB Montreal, but as it's been ages since we've seen anything from that studio, despite the rumours that they're coming back in 2019 with a new game, Rocksteady may have decided to step back in and do Batman again. It's like a Toy Story 2 scenario, where Pixar saw that Disney were going to ruin the franchise with direct-to-video movies and so stepped in and did it properly. As for the title, at the VGA Awards after Batman Arkham City, Joker pretended to spoil the next Batman game's title as Batman Arkham World, which may have been the original title for Arkham Knight, or even a reference to the mobile game Batman Arkham Underworld. However, it would be funny if they returned to the title, and then they can say they were teasing it years before it happened. Remember this title though, because we may be bringing it up again shortly. Number 3, Wonder Woman. The problem with doing a single DC hero game after you've done Batman is making it a step up. Superman would seem logical, but he's a difficult character to work in games. You want a DC character who's on the same level as Batman, good at fighting, and yet still has vulnerabilities that will make them satisfying to play, and even a challenge. Enter the most popular female superhero in the world, Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman movie was announced and in production in 2015, around the same time as Arkham Knight, and it was obviously a hit in 2017. After multiple years of doing male lead characters, a brighter female superhero would be a breath of fresh air for Rocksteady. She has powers but she's not invincible and can fight with fists, sword, shield, lasso and loads of other video gamey things. A Wonder Woman game would be excellent with Rocksteady at the helm and the world is ready for it. But maybe the studio are going for something more ambitious. Number 2, Justice League. This is the big one. Let's say Rocksteady isn't developing Superman. What would really be the step up from Batman and yet still allow the studio to do Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman etc? That would be a full Justice League title. This would allow the Superman rumours to be true and yet not. They're not doing a Superman game, technically. Of course, the hardest part of doing a Justice League game is working out what type of game it needs to be. You've got up to seven heroes with very different power sets, three who can fly, one who can create anything with a magic ring, one whose power mostly exists underwater, and another who is basically invulnerable. It would be a challenge, but my god would it be glorious. And if anyone could pull it off, Rocksteady could. Would it have separate levels? Would it be one big open world, perhaps combining Gotham and Metropolis the way LEGO DC Super Supervillains does, except on an Arkham Knight or DCEU scale, we just don't know, but all we know is, we want it now. Just as long as it's better than Justice League Heroes. Number 1, DC Universe Destiny. I don't know whether to be sad or elated about this, but the strongest rumour in the Rocksteady mill is that they're not working on a single player offline game at all. They're working on an ongoing online games as a service type live game. Sort of like Destiny or Anthem. 
The evidence for this is Kotaku's Jason Schreier, who's mentioned several times but having a general idea about what Rocksteady are working on, and he claims it's not Superman, Batman or Justice League. As he said on the Kotaku Split Screen podcast, I think what we're going to see from them is a game about a group of superheroes who, and it'll be like a game as a service type thing. He's not definitively willing to say, yes it's definitely this and not Justice League, but after all this time the belief is that Warner Brothers would not give Rocksteady steady so long to make their next game unless it would see a significant return that they may not get from a purely single player game. The game Jason Schreier describes sounds like the player making their own superhero and joining up with other player heroes in the DC Universe, which sounds a freaking lot like DC Universe Online, which is still going fairly strong, just had a big Atlantis event for the Aquaman movie. While this is undoubtedly the strongest rumour and we could totally see it happening, why would Warner Brothers get Rocksteady to make a game just like DC Universe Online, but just slightly less MMOE? Maybe it genuinely will be called Batman Arkham World, which will get a lot of people to buy it. But do people actually want DC Universe Destiny? Even if it's a Batman Arkham game? Guess we'll find out, maybe even this year. Those are the five most likely games, in our opinion, that Rocksteady could be working on right now if they're not doing Superman. Green Arrow, a new Batman Arkham game, Wonder Woman, Justice League, and a DC Universe version of Destiny. Which one would you like to see most? Do you think any of these are a bad idea? Do you have your own ideas about what Rocksteady are making? Let us know in the comments below, and please subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for everything on Rocksteady's next game, WB Montreal next game, the next Batman Arkham game, and everything on the worlds of DC. Thanks for watching folks, Multiverse out. <laughs>